Welcome to Adventures of Jenna and Dale. And today is a whole new adventure. Typhoon Lagoon. Have not been here in several years. And with the sports add-on option, I have access to this. And I haven't used it for the last two years. So today is the day. I get my money's well worth out of all the golfing I do at Oak Trail. But today, go check out Typhoon Lagoon. Let's go. Welcome to Typhoon Lagoon. And I will be going back from this camera, which is the phone camera, and the GoPro. So the video quality may be uh, different throughout this video. So, because uh, I can't take the phone on the water rides, so I'm gonna have to use the, the GoPro. And I have not been here in a long time, so we're just gonna wing it and see what happens. So first things first is go find a locker and a chair. So here is the map of everything. And then all the attractions. Looks like they have 12 total. It'll probably vary from uh, water slides to uh, Lazy River and everything else. We'll go see what it is. So I did find the lockers. And uh, there's two different sizes. There's large, and which I got a large, and then there's like extra large. And I've got this backpack, so we'll see if it fits in there. I think it should. So it is a very tight fit. So if you come with anything more than one backpack that's full, you're gonna need a bigger locker or multiple lockers. It is pretty busy, but before it gets even busier, I'm gonna go find where we start this guy. Lazy River. Oh, I see. right up there is an entry. Right up there is an entry. Let's see what we got over here. We got the big, big kahuna. Getting busy. Here are a lot of the chairs area. I do now have the GoPro. So we'll see what the video quality is comparingly. There is no inner tubes at the entrance where I was looking for to get on the lazy river. So we'll go see if I can find some. I also have my waterproof for this camera. So if I do need it, I still have it on me. Everything else is in the locker. All right, found some tubes. So you have to just go in one of the entrances and hopefully find one of these tubes that are just cruising on by. Double checking my phone case, making sure no water gets in it. I think we're good to go. Perfect. Let's cruise, let's cruise on. See if I can jump on this thing. And this GoPro is waterproof. So we may get some uh, underwater action here as I'm trying to get on this thing. Uah. Nailed it. There we go. Perfect. Now just let the current take us. Cruising on down the river. The lazy river. Good way to spend a Saturday. But it is busy.
boy. We got a nice little uh, waterfall up here. We're getting ready to go through. Everybody gonna get drenched. Everybody gonna get wet. Oh boy. Here we go. your sunglasses, phones, anything. I had to jump off my inner tube and uh, regather myself. And yes, I know there's water on this thing too, but I'm all wet. I can't dry it off. I'll try. Well, that was fun. In the lazy river. Super cool. Now, a little water here, a half a foot deep or so just to walk through, rinse off, seats. I gotta head back to the locker because the battery to the GoPro died, so I gotta get another battery. But here's the, the wave pool. Oh, here it comes. I'll get out there with the GoPro later. I gotta get another battery. Ah, oh, it's cool. So I have quite a few uh, chairs and seats and stuff available. It's currently quarter after 11 on a Saturday. So if you don't come here first thing, you can still find yourself a seat. I'm gonna go over here. Looks like they have a little kids section. Go check it out. Yeah, so over there, over here they do have a little wave pool, a little kids slide and stuff for all the kids. That's pretty neat. Go around and uh, see what else I can find. Nice and quiet over here. The sand's really nice as well. Because it does later in the day. I do remember in past years, currently I'm barefoot, but uh, the concrete, everything does get really hot. So uh, the sand gets helpful to jump on and also all the water to cool off your feet. They have a lot of these little snack bars as well. Low Tide Louis. Here's a ride. I'm gonna go on these rides later, go recharge my GoPro. This is Gangplank Falls. I did see this Mickey on the Lazy River but I was too worried about that crazy waterfall. It's cool how they did that with the inner tubes. Because yeah, right over here is where I got ate by that waterfall. This guy. But it looks like they have cabanas back here that you can rent. I see they have a TV and up there a little bit ago they have beds and stuff in them. Now that'd be the way to go. Did not know about those. 
so I'll have to do a little bit of uh, due diligence, see what I can find. Well, right here we got Leaning Palms Resort Dining. I get the leaning part. I get the leaning part. Not too many people here eating yet. A little fast food joint here. Looks very nice. And I did see over here, looks like it's the entryway to some of those cabanas. So I found the cabanas. So if you want to research it, it's called Getaway Glens. Reservation required. And they have a nice little cabana, towels set up and everything that you need. So I did talk to a cast member and he said it varies, but currently it can be like around $375 to $499 for a day's rental, depending everything that you get with your cabana. So there's a little bit of insight. Getaway Glens. That would be the way to go. So before I forget, I better go in the souvenir shop. Do Jenna's part of the stream as well, or vlog as well. Singapore Sa Sal's. Singapore Sal's souvenirs. Let's see what they have. The bathing suits. Get you some towels. Select beach towels, $29.99. Oh, that's Stitch. Definitely one for Jenna. That's cool. They're uh, super thin quality. I do not prefer the, they're super thin. So they're not the best beach towels as far as for drying and stuff and softness. But they've got great designs. Get your kids toys. Looks like beach toys, $24.99. Also get your goggles, if you forget anything, extra trunks, beach wear, salt life shirts, get your Florida attire if you didn't have it. Of course your snacks. I did check, you are allowed to bring, bring in drinks and snacks. No alcohol. But they did have a, the website that uh, had a good list of what you can and cannot bring. So yeah, cool shop. It's got all the stuff you need for here at Typhoon Lagoon. Your hat if you forgot your hat. Well, I see a ride over here. Bunch of slides, looks like fun. We'll start with this one. I believe It'll be this one up here, Crushing Gusher. Let's go on this adventure. So they do come down, and then you can go tandem. And once they come off, you grab your own raft and go up the stairs. Since I'm by myself, I will be doing this solo. Gonna be fun. Can't wait. I haven't been to a water park in a long time. And it's one of those things that's so close, you just don't go. Finally, I went. And the line wasn't that long. It was maybe, well, the line up front to get an inner tube wasn't that long. Now we gotta get in line again with these guys. There are uh, three different lines double riders on the outside single riders on the middle and the single rider line is definitely the longest line so you get on your tube there's a little uh, conveyor belt there and the conveyor belt will send you on down the slide hey gone Remain seated and hold on tight. Are you ready? 
I'm ready. Here we go. That was fun. Quick ride. Nothing too scary. Pretty easy to do. Over here next to this area by the Crushing Falls, they do have a small, shallow pool as well. It was a pretty easy ride. I feel most kids could do that ride as well. Nothing too intense. Uh, fun. It's a good, ri good ride to start with, actually. And it's one of the first rides when you go to the right. That's a good starter ride. Now, off to the next one. So this one here is Miss Adventure Falls. It looks like a bigger inner tube with more people. So uh, I'm gonna give this a shot. So this right here, you get you on the inner tube and it'll launch you right up there. It's like more of a family ride and you can get on and off your uh, raft over here. Your back against the tube. Here we go. Pretty cool. Takes us up this ramp, and uh, we'll see where we end up at. ride than I expected it longer than the other one was. Nice you, you as well enjoy. Thank you. Now let's go see what the next one is. Oh, also, uh, for that ride, Miss Adventure Falls, they have no single rider. I was by myself, so the kind couple behind me allowed me to ride with them. Which the majority of the time, there's very few loners around here like me. <laughs> So, uh, pretty sure for everybody else, that won't be an issue, unless somebody, a family or somebody doesn't want to go, but, uh, and only one of the family members want to. But yes, single riders, not allowed to have a tube by yourself, so you find a nice family that allows you to go with them. Here is another food option, Typhoon Tillies, and uh, a lot of people starting to get some lunch. Looks like they have uh, basics, chicken strips. Oh, crabless crab cakes. Ooh, this looks like my type of a spot. No sandwiches, but uh, they do have a fish basket. All right, time for the humonga kawabunga. That's only five minutes. This looks like a. Uh, wedgie type of a ride. Everybody I've seen come out <laughs> is pulling their wedgie. It might not be. It might be three different It's like a straight down water slide. You get on up there and you end up down here. Cool view from up here. For your safety and enjoyment, please lie flat on your back with your arms and ankles crossed in front of you. 
wait for the green signal before you go. Thank it's you. less than five minutes. Way out in the distance. Is the balloon Disney Springs? Wait for the green line and green light, and it's a go. There's the Disney Springs balloon. Okay, Here we go. There we go. I'll wait for the green light. What'd you ride? What'd you confirm? Oh my goodness, that was awesome! Wow, face full of water. So cool. <laughs> that was awesome. And it's such a short ride. It was like, got up there and nobody wants to go on it. I saw a couple people back out that they uh, like, nope, no thank you. They turned around and they went back down. So, uh, yes, now we'll do one right next to it. So that was Humunga, Calabunga. I'm pretty sure that is probably the most intense ride, but we'll go find out. Right next to Humunga, Calabunga is Storm Slides. This, this wait time's a little bit longer, so I assume uh, it's not quite as bad. Yeah, the other ride, no way. That was fun. As I mentioned earlier, later on in the day, the concrete gets hot. So now, the key is <laughs> stand in the shade. Everybody else does it as well. Stand in the shade during the line. Or if you're really prepared, you have water shoes. Water shoes would be the way to go. You just don't have any. So I just went barefoot. But a lot of people will have the water shoes on. And then that'll protect your feet. Or even Crocs. You can wear Crocs as well. So the shoes don't fly off in some of the rides. They do have a clock. All the way over there. So, uh know what time it is because I don't have my watch or anything on me or phone so I don't know what time it is but it's one o'clock which means I'll get this ride done and the wave pool because that's one of the last things I wanted to do for sure as well because then we have plans later on this evening I gotta get back home to Jenna but uh, the benefits of being close by and having the water parks or the sports option on the annual pass I could come whenever I want to, even though this is the first time I've came since I've had it for the last two years. We got Miss Tilly up there on the hill, and uh, there's a waterfall in the line before you get on the ride. Here we go. The light is green. Another one done? Now let's go to the wave pool. 
All right, headed to the wave, Floyd. Just went. A little bit of a wave there. Way out there. So, uh, we'll start making the way. And it always makes like that, a big old sound. Not sure how to explain it, but uh, that pushes it. Are they okay? Okay, thank you. Uh oh, there's the sound. Here we go. Here we go. Got not out there yet, but it's coming. Here we go. Little bit of aftermath. I got it when it was all when it was uh, big old white cap. I'm gonna see if I can get to it earlier. Let's give this a shot. I want to try to get an area so there's like not a lot of people around because it does take you flying and uh, yeah. We'll see. It's deeper out here. It's up to my shoulders almost. So we'll do this. Actually, let's go back out here. Try to get over here a little bit. There we go.